the best part of my week is when this box arrives at my door. Blue Apron, everything I need to know about cooking all in one little kit. And this week we have something a little extra exciting in the Blue Apron box. And that is Bravo's Top Chef Season 14 Finale winner, Brooke Williamson's recipe that we're going to make tonight. Hi, I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Cheryl. And we are going to be making for you today a spice rubbed pork with sweet red onions and black beans. Take one, prep ingredients. We heated the oven to 475 degrees and we're going to rinse and drain the black beans. We're going to finely chop the cilantro and also the garlic. And the, on the onions, one of the onions we're going to have lengthwise and cut into one inch thick pieces and then we're going to small dice the other onion. Okay, now that we have all of our ingredients prepped, we lined our sheet pan with foil. We've got our pot over here ready to go with olive oil in it and... Now I am going to be patting dry the pork with a paper towel. Just gently getting all that excess juice off of it. And now I'm going to be seasoning both sides of it with salt and pepper. All right, now that I have my pork peppered and salted, I'm going to take the spice blend that Blue Apron kindly provides us with, and I'm going to sprinkle it over both sides of the pork. Really get it all on there. Use every little bit they give you. It's so delicious. All right. Yeah. Also, it's cool if you have a book to hold all of your favorite recipes. We hole punch them so you can just keep them in there and flip them over for all the instructions. Take two, searing the pork. Take one didn't work because we didn't have the pan hot enough yet. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to brown that on all four sides. Back to you, Joe. Okay. While our pork is browning in the pan, I'm going to take our onion, I'm going to drizzle it with some olive oil, and then I'm going to salt and pepper it, and then I'm going to transfer it over to this. Make sure you toss it to thoroughly coat the entire onion and all the pieces. Okay, I'm going to remove it from the pan, transfer it over. I already have my oven preheated, so I'm going to open this up and slide the onions and the pork on in there. And she's a talented chef because she has crutches today. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be roasting the onions and the pork for 20 to 22 minutes. While the pork is roasting, we're heating up the butter and adding the diced onions to the pot. Stir it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. While the onions are cooking, I just wanna mention the Blue Apron wine pairings. They're awesome, they go great with the meals. This week it recommends the Le Petit Paisan Riesling to go with this meal. It's a 2016 Monterey vintage. Awesome. Now that the onions have softened up, I'm adding brown sugar and half a cup of water. All right, while the onions are caramelizing, I'm going to, I already heated up the pan of fond. Um, with the garlic and a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I'm going to add my black beans in there. And I'm going to season that with salt and pepper as well. And now I'm just going to cook this for a couple minutes, stirring it every once in a while until I see the beans start to break down. Okay, so our beans have started to break down, so now I'm going to add the honey that's been provided. I love the packs. I know, they package it so well. Okay, I'm going to add the remaining vinegar. Remaining vinegar because we put the other half on the onions. and the water. 
Okay, and I'm gonna stir that occasionally for a couple of minutes. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to cook it for a couple more minutes until I see about three quarters of the liquid um, evaporate or reduce. Okay. Okay, we've removed the pork from the oven and we've set it to rest. And the caramelized onions, we added the half of the vinegar to it while the beans and the other onions are still cooking. Okay, now that my beans are done, I'm going to take my caramelized onions and add that to the pan of beans. Make sure you get all of them in there. And then I'm also going to take about a quarter of my cilantro, who knows how much that is, and add it to that. And then I'm gonna stir it all up and combine it. Mm, looks delicious. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Okay, now that the pork has rested, it's time to slice it. I'm gonna thinly slice it crosswise. Yummy. Sorry the camera's a little shaky, I have to hop. <laughs> okay, now we're ready to plate our dish. So we're gonna take our bean and onion mixture and then top it with the sliced pork and the onion from the oven. We have to be fair. <laughs> Okay, and I always look at the picture, which it might never turns out that good, but. Mmm, looks delicious. <laughs> Probably using a spoon would have been a better idea. Okay. And then a little bit of the cilantro, a little drizzle of olive oil, and we are ready to Dying. Voila. Delicious. Okay, let's try this out. All right, the moment of truth. It's awesome. It's very tasty. Thank you, Brooke Williamson. Thank you, Brooke Williamson. We hope we get to meet you when we get to New York. Yes, we'll see you soon. Yay. <laughs>